Hello everyone! So it has been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. I know, I know. Honestly, this past month has been just incredible, incredibly crazy for me. I've had so many awesome opportunities that I've been asked to participate in that I never thought I would have the chance in my life to do these things. And so they've been really time intensive and I've just had to take a little bit of time away from YouTube. It's not that I don't love you guys, but you know, sometimes you have to just take advantage of opportunities that are sent your way. And what I did this this week is I actually vlogged to document and to like show you guys instead of just doing nothing. I thought I would just vlog and show you all these cool things that I've done this week. I gave two, um, speak, I had two speaking engagements this week. One was at this huge business forum. I had to lecture on uh, social media and marketing to like 450 business people. And then on Saturday, I had another speaking engagement. I've been had so many press inquiries. I'm going to be in the Swiss like sort of people magazine. They wanted to do a photo shoot here at my house. Oh, and I'm also going to be a judge actually on this year's Miss Switzerland pageant, which is insane. That's coming up in November. So I've had to like have preparations for that. I'm going on a dress fitting on Monday and it's just like, oh my God, I can't believe like pinch me. This is like happening. I wanted to also let you guys know before I get started with this huge unboxing, all these boxes that have been like piling up, um, I'm doing in partnership with Aussie. They reached out to me and said, look, um, we would like to offer you something to give away to your viewers. And I was like, um, duh, yes, that would be awesome. I'm going to be giving away four sets of these amazing Aussie hair products. And there's going to be three products in the set. It's the Miracle Moist con Conditioner, the Shampoo and Conditioner, and there's also going to be the Three Minute Miracle Reconstructor. And this giveaway is going to be done completely on social media. So I'm not going to get into it um, in this video. So go and check out on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll have both of those linked below. <laughs> and um, follow me on there and I will have all the instructions on how you can enter. So the first package that I just unboxed is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is the self-made eyeshadow palette. So here's the um, promo picture for it. So there's a palette in here, and I think one of the liquid lipsticks. Let's open this one first. This is called Candy Apple. Well, it's a, just a really bright red. So there is Candy Apple liquid lipstick, super pigmented, really fun. And the self-made eyeshadow palette, like a metal, there's an actually metal bit here on the front. This looks nice. Here is the self-made palette, really cool. So there's that palette. I like the name because self-made, that's how I would describe myself. I'm completely self-made person and um, you know, kind of the selfie trend, I guess they're trying to pick up on that and warm and cool tones, which I like. And there's also a few colors like the purple and this mint, I guess, would be great as an accent color. This looks really, really nice. Thank you so much to Anastasia for sending that. So I have grabbed the next box. Like I said, I'm gonna run through these pretty quickly. Oh, this is the new Terry Mugler um, Alien Eau de Parfum, and this is the Talisman. So it's a refillable um, bottle. I think it's Thierry, Thierry Mugler, actually, I think. Isn't, isn't he French? I'm not sure. Anyhow, so he's kind of, I find like his scents are sort of an acquired taste. Like they're not for everyone. This is just gonna look so gorgeous on my little perfume shelf because it even has like a little stand for it. So you can put the perfume in the stand. Like how cool is that? The bottles I think are just some of the coolest perfume bottles. Like I think they're just really original. I'm gonna put some of this on because this actually smells really nice. But it definitely is a floral, it's a floral scent, but there's something kind of unique about it. This one is actually, I think, probably one of his most accessible perfumes. I find some of his perfumes are like really, really unique. So they might not appeal to like a broad audience, but I feel like this one is very accessible. This totally gets a thumbs up for me. Like, look at this. Can you see, where can I place it? Like that. I mean, it's a little bit finicky, but. So thank you so much for sending that through. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I had to go the teeny bopper high ponytail route because it is seriously hot. Like I am sweating and I can't open a window because you guys will hear like noise from outside, so. A nice bag from Marie Nôte. Ooh, Smashbox. Awesome. So this is a Christmas package from um, Smashbox. Art, love, color, masterclass. Oh my God, this looks like a giant palette. 
so cool. Love the packaging. This feels like it's raised on the top. I don't know if you can see, but like this is actually sticking out. Yago Hortal Hernandez. I guess he's the artist who sort of inspired this collection. This is so genius. Look at this. Like there's plastic on top, which is amazing because it protects the shadows, first of all. So it pops up like that. Wow. Okay, packaging. I mean, to be honest, yeah, it's pretty bulky. This is probably not super handy, but I mean, look at it. It is so cool. <laughs> you see, there's like the name of the shadows printed on the cover. So if I ever like, you know, if I'm gonna use this in a tutorial, I can tell you, oh, it's like cement and breeze and steel and bitten. So I've got just like four colors. Let's grab one more. There's those swatch. They look fairly pigmented. I think, I think I have to try them out a bit more. I can't really say like right now in the pigmentation, but they look pretty good. So that, as far as like packaging and presentation goes, is pretty freaking awesome. Like it's like a book and then it has this elastic. So that is really cool. So there is some stuff from BE Creative Makeup. I think, I guess BE Creative Makeup. And this is a, a range that's sort of a bit more affordable range. And this is also available at Mario Nod. A cream shadow in a silver color. Lashes in here, there's three different. One is the sort of individual lashes and then these ones. Um, those are kind of neat. And then these ones here. These will be really nice for like holiday looks, I think. So the other one was like in silver, this one's in bronze. And then there's also a travel brush set. So these are some, two of them are natural and two of them are synthetic. So I have to figure out like which one. The natural hair are the bigger ones, I think. And then the smaller ones, these are synthetic. So I'm gonna have to try those out. Thank you so, so much to Mayano that basically that Smashbox thing looks pretty freaking amazing. So I can't wait to try that out. This is in box number three, I believe. That looks amazing. So it's by Roger Gallet, which is a Parisian perfumer. Fleur de Figuier, which is the um, fig flower, I guess, collection. There's a precious revitalizing balm, the pre precious replenishing balm and the precious restoring balm. And there's also three, I think these are hand creams. I think these are candies. <gasps> we could use a candy break. Mmm, they're candy coated almonds. This is the Osmantos flower one. Mmm, that smells really fresh. This one is the fig one. Let's try the fig one, which I think is sort of the star of the collection, I guess. That smells really good too. All their stuff are just so nicely. I mean, most of them are very heavily perfumated, just to let you know, um, because it is a uh, perf like it's a perfume company, so they make perfumes, but they are, they have really nice body products that just have really nice scents. Thank you so much for sending that. This one is by Mac, I believe. Magnificent Me in here, and then there's also in here the Guo Guo. Hey, I feel like they've been releasing a lot of these sort of um, Chinese inspired collection. I think that probably their Chinese market must be really big because they've been using a lot of Chinese celebrities and stuff um, for different collections. So it's the Guo Pei. Isn't she the designer who, I think she was the designer who made that dress, like that coat for Rihanna. And then there's the Mac sculpted face, Guo Pei. Guo Pei. I'm sure like Chinese people are like killing me right now. Beautiful packaging, like look at that. It's like birds and flowers. Night sky eyeshadow times four. So the same um, print is on the front. It's like a, a blue eyeshadow quad with four different colors. And then there's also in here the Guo Pei Blue Fountain MAC Fluid Line. That is crazy intense. Um, I really hope it comes out opaque like that as well. Oh, that's a brush. Oh, cool. What the heck? Um, and then it has a little bit of that fabric around them. The fabric is like, there's a really big seam here. I don't know if you can see that, but the seam like sticks out from the brush. Not a fan of this. It's just not practical to be honest because the seam sticks out from the brush and um, so when you're holding it, you're kind of like holding on the seam. It's not comfortable to hold. For the price that you're paying for MAC products, like this just 
feels really cheap. This is a total thumbs down, I'm sorry. And there's a couple other products in here. There's the Sculpt and Shape Powder. Light Sweep Shade Stir. So there's that. So this is like a product that you can use for contouring and for highlighting. There's obviously the contour down here and then the highlight. And let's see, the highlight is not super shimmery. It's more like a satin finish. And then the sculpting powder is matte. An amplified cream lipstick. So this is called Self Aware and it is like a tan brown color. This could be such a great nude shade for ladies of color. Like if you have darker skin tone, like this would be such an amazing nude color for those skin tones. And on me, this is like a very sort of fall-ish, tannish brown color. Cheer Me On Matte. This is an eyeshadow, obviously, and it's like a orangey ochre shade. It looks like bright orange here in the camera, but it kind of has a slight ochre tone, so it has a little bit of that tan shade again. Maybe you need to go over it a few times to get like a really rich color payoff um, just from swatching. But the color is beautiful, like such a great color for fall. Thank you so, so much to MAC Cosmetics Switzerland for sending that through. Let's move on by Lush Cosmetics. Some of the things from Halloween, which I know is like almost over, but you can probably still get it now at the stores. And then there's also things from the winter collection. I think the, the gifts that they make from Lush are just so beautiful because they're so beautifully packaged and just kind of takes the guesswork out of it. The Christmas candy box. Ooh, are you getting dizzy? Oh, oh dear. This is already <clears throat> fizzing out of the packaging. Snow Fairy Shower Gel, which is covered in dust, <laughs> like bath comet dust. Sweet scent of candy floss. Holy smokes, that is really sweet. This is, if you don't like sweet scents, I probably wouldn't go for this because it literally smells like sugar. I don't know if this is like a bath melt. I think this might be a bath melt because it has like a texture, like a funny texture. Oh, this is this must be the thing that's kind of broken. Um, Oh, that's a bit too, that's a shame because this looks really pretty. It's like this big ball and there's probably different colors in there. This, this whole collection obviously is supposed to be candy, so it's really, really sweet. All sort of pink themed. So that I think would be a good gift for someone who's like really into girly things. So the contents in that one were the Snow Fairy Shower Gel, Candy Mountain Bubble Bath, Luxury Lush Pood Bath Bomb, and the Rockstar Soap. Oh, that must be the soap then. This must be the Rockstar Soap. And then here's another one, and I think this must be um, Halloween stuff in here. It's the Sparkly Pumpkin Nightwing Shower Jelly Lord of Misrule Shower Cream and Lord of Misrule Bath Bomb. Um, this one has patchouli and peppercorn. Oh, this one is very manly scented. I think actually my husband might like this. I don't know if I would really go for this myself. And then there's the Sparkly Pumpkin. I, I love the shape of this. It smells divine. A wonderfully spicy bubble bath for yourself with juniper, berry, and lime. Okay, I was totally off, but that smells really lovely. I really like this one, and I think that one is surrounded in glitter, so it infuses your bath water with glitter. It's the Nightwing Shower Jelly, and this is um, like totally black. Oh my god, this smells like Coca-Cola. Fruit Pastille Scented Jelly. Okay, to me this just smells like Coca-Cola. I think it's in the shape of bat. <laughs> It's Batman! Oh my god, okay, that just looks so slobbery, but that is so freaking cool. It's actually not, it's like bl dark, dark blue. This I will definitely go for, because that is really neat. And then the Lord of Misrule uh, bath bomb. I think, oh, this one broke as well. Darn it. So this has, well, now you can see the center. It has a green outer layer, and then there's purple inside. Whoa, this one is... Mm. This isn't, this isn't really my thing. Uh, if you wanna get the um, Halloween stuff, I think you have to like be pretty quick because they might, well, my, my baby's already on sale after Halloween, so you can check that out. And um, then the, the gift sets for Christmas. So thank you so, so much to Lush Switzerland. Now I have the next package here. And this one is by Bobbi Brown. The last thing that they sent me was that foundation, that skin serum foundation, and it is so good. I'm actually wearing that one today looks like Christmassy uh, collections here. Lux lip color in pale mauve. Pale mauve. So great. I think this would be a really great pinky nude color when you're doing sort of darker, smokier looks maybe in the winter. And then there's in here the um, Bobbi Brown Basic Eye Palette Cool. 
Does that seem cool tone to you? Because if I like look at this, the first thing I think is more warm tone, to be honest. Okay, so I've got three of them swatched. This is a really light shade here. It's more like a vanilla tone. This is the shimmery one, which has a little bit of sparkle to it, like glitter. And then there's the warmish sort of, I didn't, see, this is the thing. I think this is more a warm tone, but there's like a bronzy tone. Let's see this uh, really dark one over here. Okay, that looks super pigmented in comparison. Okay, this one is swatching just really pigmented. Holy smokes. This one, I'm like barely touching my skin here and there's so much pigmentation coming off. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Like I, I think the palettes that they come out with are just such uh, very wearable sort of grown up palettes, but they've been very hit or miss with me. Like some of the palettes that they sent me in the past have been just like no pigmentation. This one I actually think is fairly good, to be honest. Like um, compared to some of the other ones that they sent me previously, this is definitely um, a lot, swatching a lot nicer, especially that really dark shade. And then there's something else in here. This is the sequin eyeshadow Moon Rock. This looks like a baked eyeshadow, like a mineralized or mineral baked shadow, something like that. There's that one swatched. I don't know if I don't know if the the shimmer. Yeah, you can kind of see it. it. Has like a bronzy shimmer, so that is really pretty. That looks really nice. I think this is a great holiday shade, like for sort of maybe for New Year's Eve or something like that. Um, that palette swatch is a lot nicer than like their last year's holiday palette to be honest and that lipstick looks gorgeous Thank you so so much to Bobbi Brown for sending that we are nearing the end of this lovely box of goodies Let's move on to this one Knipe to those of you who don't know it's a Woo, it's a drugstore brand like they have bath mostly bath and product bath and body products There's a night cream in here. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this kind of quickly. There's just so much there's the um, bath crystals. This is in a deep forest green shade and this is supposed to, this is called Waldspaziergang, so like forest walk, which is perfect for me because I love forest walks, but this, this scent is just so not me. That's the funny thing because ugh, this, is just not, this is just not me. It just smells very, very woodsy and like very um, like actual wood. So I don't know, maybe some people like that. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle getting into a bath like that. <laughs> This is called Männersache 2,0, so it's man stuff, kind of like. And this is supposed to be for your skin and your hair. I love how they make like men's products that are like four products in one. So this one you can use for your hair and as a shower gel. And this is supposed to be um, like a blood orange and black pepper. And actually, I like this scent. Like I would use this shower gel. Special edition Ich Einzigartig and this is sandalwood and cardamom. I pretty much love anything with cardamom I love cardamom in my tea. So this one. I love it, it smells very warm and just sort of spicy um, Then there's the uh, there's a hand cream in here Sekunden hand cream. This is with lemon vervain and avocado butter Schönheitsritual Dusch Gel um, So this is acai berry and rooibos very kind of fruity like the acai and then like the tea. I can't really can't really smell the tea, but it smells kind of fruity and like a berry. And then there's also in here um, a tea and this is the Basen Balance Kräuter Tea. Um, it's like an herbal tea. I'm not really into herbal teas. I drink a lot of tea. Pretty much all the tea I drink is black tea though. So I'll give this to a friend who I know loves herbal tea because like there's no way I'll ever drink this. So that is it from Knipe. Um, thank you so much. I'll definitely be using Dixie shower gels. So this package is from Zoeva or Zoeva and they have awesome makeup brushes. So there is actually in here the En Taupe palette. So I guess an eyeshadow palette. Ooh, look at that. You can totally see it now. It's like holographic. Look at that. Whoa, 10 eyeshadows and they're all in that taupe family. This is like a very, very neutral, super neutral color scheme. There's not even a single color in here that's like really dark. Is that a good or a bad thing? I think this maybe like, I mean, just my first reaction is it could have used maybe like one dark color in there, just to kind of balance it out. But if you don't like dark shades and you're really into taupes, like why not? So I've just got four colors just quickly here. Let's just quickly swatch them. 
It's not really blowing my socks off, just the pigmentation wise, but that's like the first swatch. Let me just, I mean, that's kind of how I would apply shadow anyway. It's not like I just apply like one stroke of eyeshadow. I kind of go back and forth anyway a few times. So this one actually here, this looks like such a boring shade in the palette and it's really actually pretty. It's a taupe with like a pink sheen to it. I don't know if you can like tell, you see the top one, there's like a little bit of a pink pearl to it. The other two here just really don't look very pigmented. I, w I do wish there was one sort of darker color in here though, like maybe, you know, like one really dark gray or like even a black or something, just so that you could combine this if you wanted for like a smoky eye. Thank you so much to Zoe for sending that through and that's it for this unboxing. Don't forget about the Aussie giveaway that I'm doing on Facebook and Instagram. Go and check me out there. I'll have everything listed with the rules. Thank you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye.